What's up, people? Today I'm bringing you a Golgari control list for standard pre rotation in 14. Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay, for creatures, we're running two drag tusks, 5 3 for a 4 and a green. Enters the battlefield and gain 5 life whenever drag tusk leaves the battlefield for any reason whatsoever. Put a 3 3 green beast token onto the battlefield. Extremely good card. Nothing else I can really say about it. Moving on, we've got four Desecration Demon, two and two black for a 6-6. Six, six. Flying at the beginning of each combat, any opponent may sacrifice a creature. If a player does, tap Desecration Demon and put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Majority of the time, they're going to be tapping down this dude left and right. And just digging to try and get rid of this dude. Because he is a major threat turn four. Then we've got two Disciple of Bolus, 2-1 for 3 and a black. Whenever a Disciple of Bolus enters the battlefield, sacrifice another creature, gain X life, and draw X cards, where X is that creature's power. Going right into this, we got a combo going on already. Have a Desecration Demon out that, I don't know, is getting tapped down each turn. He's got 10 counters on him. Play Disciple of Bolus, go ahead and sacrifice the guy. You're going to be drawing 10 cards and gaining 10 life. That's extremely good. Works extremely good with Drag Tusk. You play Drag Tusk turn before, attack next turn, uh, secondary, Disciple Bolus, gain five life, draw five cards, extremely good. Then, moving on, we've got Dreg Mangler. We have four of them in here, three, three for one of black and green, haste, and scavenge. You're not going to use the scavenge ability much, but it, it'll happen every now and then. Okay, moving on, we got three ravenous rats, one one for one in the black, enters the battlefield, target opponent, discard the card. Extremely good in my opinion. He's used in pauper a lot. I mean, he's more of a draft card, but I mean anything that'll make them discard a card is good in my opinion. And this is a budget deck, as I said. But then we got four string root geist. 2-1 for 2 green, haste and undying. Goes right along with the Disciple of Bolus. Plays String of Root Guys next turn. Uh, main phase 1, Disciple of Bolus. Uh, he comes back as a 3-2. Seems extremely good in my opinion. We've got 3 Vampire Nighthawks. 2-3 two, for 1 and 2 black, Flying, Death Touch, and Lifelink. Good card all around. And it would be nuts if it had Hexproof. But it, it's a good card. Now that's it for the creatures. Moving on to the instants and sorceries. Alright, we've got two Mind Rot, two in a black. Target player discards two cards. Just to try and get some discard in there, guys, because this is a control list, and you really don't want them to have much in their hand at all. Then we've got three Interrupt Decays. Black and a green, Replicate can't be countered by spells or ability. Destroy target non land permanent with very mana cost three or less. Extremely, extremely good card, guys. This card would be dumb even without the can't be countered. We've got two cremate, black, instant, exile target card from a graveyard, draw a card. Say, say you're playing against a burial, right? Oh, we don't need that thing in your graveyard. Go ahead and draw me a card, you know, it's a, it's a good card in my opinion. Um, we've got one Devour Flesh main, and what it does is target player sacrifices a creature and gains life equal to that creature's toughness for one in a black. Mainly in there against Bant Hexproof, just anything you really can't get rid of, you just gotta time it right if they're playing something. Um, then we've got three Putrefying here. It came out of Dragon's Maze, also came out of Ravnica, and what it does is destroy target artifact or creature, it can't be regenerated for one in a black, one black and a green, and it's an instant. Extremely good card. Um, I might be running too many, but I just really don't want a lot of stuff on their side of the field. 
we're running one tragic flip. Target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. Or if a creature died that turn, that creature gets minus 13, minus 13 until our end of turn. Instead, if a creature died this turn for one black. Extremely good. And then we are running three vial rebirth. Same thing as cremate, except exile target creature card from your graveyard. Put a 2 2 black zombie creature on, token onto the battlefield. You're going to want uh, blockers with this deck. This is a control list that you have to have creatures. So, and moving on to land, we are running. We're running 11 swamps and 8 forests, just your basic lands. You can you can switch some stuff up. You can you can add overgrown tombs to this. You can add whatever you want to this deck list. As I said, it's purely budget. Um, and then we're running two ghost quarters against like the failure drown yards or something like that. Tap it, add one to your mana pool. Sacrifice ghost quarters for target land. If controller may. Search his or her library for a basic land, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle his or her library. It's in there to get rid of Wolf Run, any any of the lands that you are afraid of for this deck, which is Nefelia Drown Yard and Wolf Run. Then we're running two Grim Backwoods. Tap, add one to your mono pool. Pay two, a green, and a black. Tap this. Sacrifice a creature, draw a card. Works good with Drag Tusk, works good with Strangle Root Geist. It's just to try and dig and get what you need. Now, moving on to the sideboard, guys. We're running one Devour Flesh in the sideboard. We're also running two Tragic Slips in the sideboard. Now, my little tech, I'm running one Illness in the ranks against Junk Tokens. Creature Token, get minus one, minus one. Good card going to be extremely good after rotation and that, that's pretty much what to say about it I mean they play you just got to pray to God they don't play an intangible virtue that's that's the main thing um, we're running two to rest which just goes along with the discard out outlet target opponent reveals his or her hand you choose a non-creature non-land card from it that player discards that card good card you make them discard their supreme verdicts, stuff like that. Then we've got two naturalizes in here against just anything, anything really. That's just another destroy target artifact or enchantment for one of the green, and it's an instant. You're mainly gonna put it in against Van Hexproof or against like Dead Bridge Tant or anything like that that you just really don't need to see because you've already got your artifact removal. And then we're running two Ranger Scowl. Target creature you control you control gets plus one plus one and gains hexproof until end of turn for one of the green instant. And it's pretty much in there against the mirror match. Or just against mono red or anything that burns. Good card in my opinion. Um, we're also running one more putrefy in here. And we're running one pithing needle. Pithing needle does work against planeswalkers, guys. Just in case a lot of y'all don't know that, because I've seen players just play a pithing needle and say, I don't know, um, Deathrite Shaman. While when they have a Liliana on the board. Pithing needle does work on planeswalkers. It costs one, it's an artifact. If Pithing Needle enters the battlefield, name a card, activate his abilities, the sources with the chosen name can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. Death Rate Shaman will still work for the tap ability, but the life gain and the lose to life will not. But it's extremely good to use against Planeswalkers. And we're also running three Tormod's Crypts. Zero cost artifact, sacrifice it, exile all cards from target player's graveyard. Good card. It's mainly in there against the burial right stack. And just anything that, like, even Snapcaster. You don't want them flashing anything back. You definitely don't want them flashing back a Supreme Verdict with this deck. If they Supreme Verdict you, you are screwed. So, guys, if y'all enjoyed this, like, subscribe, give me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. It's always appreciated. 
And as always, it's Kyozo666 here. So, yeah, y'all have a good rest of the time. Deuces.